Thai nerds. I'm at the airport eating a quick scrambled egg breakfast before I get on the airplane to go to Cabo. Um, I did not have time to do all of the things I was supposed to do. Shocking. So that means that you're going to get your work back when I return from my trip. It also means that you're going to get my videos daily from Mexico. First one coming to you from Denver International Airport. So I hope you're having a good morning. I miss you already, um, but I am very excited for my journey. So let's get with it. You have selected your global issue. If you have not selected your global issue yet, you need to return to yesterday's lessons, post it to Google Classroom. In that folder, you'll see Monday's lesson plans and make sure that you've identified which overarching global issue you wanna focus on. Remember, it needs to be something for which you have curiosity, something that has enough content and stuff to it that you can work with it, and something that's going to um, maintain your curiosity into May, all right? So select your issue, once you've done that, Come back to this video and start over. If you've selected your issue, you're ready to begin. Today we're going to focus on um, two of the sort of main idea, uh, depth, of, depth of complexity categories. So the first one we're going to look at today is the big idea, right? What is the big idea behind your global issue? And the second one you're going to do is language of the discipline, right? So if you use this handy little packet, remember that the information in there is guided to give you questions to help you get to the thinking. It is not expected that you do all of this, okay? It's there to help you get to the place you need to go. So use as much or as little of it as you want. Language of the discipline, fancy term for what is the language, what are the keywords, um, significant phrases that are used when talking about this particular subject. So like I spoke about yesterday, this might be a list of words you already kind of know. So maybe you just start with your own understanding of the topic. But then you will want to do some research to figure out what those words might be. And this is where Google can be wildly useful. Um, so if I just simply type into Google, remember my issue is gender inequality, so I'm searching for that. So I'm going to say gender inequality language. I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to see what I have here. So we're going to see here, gender bias and sexism in language. So I can peek into that. Um, really, as I'm looking through anything, any word I come across that I feel like could be useful in connecting to the actual topic, I can go ahead and add. So if I look at this particular site, this is a .com, but it is Oxford, which is a university. So I'm going to trust that it's probably fairly accurate. I'm going to take a peek through here. But as you see, just even in this summary, I'm seeing all sorts of words I could add to my language of the discipline box. Words like sexism, gender discrimination. Things like perpetrated, right? Other things might be stereotypes. I could add words like, let me think, I'm reading through. Societal asymmetric symmetries. That would be interesting. I might also think about words that I know already, but words that I see in my articles, like right here, masculine, right? I might use this word, feminine. Other things I might see, you could use things like negative or positive, but Every issue that you find is going to have negative and positive aspects. So try to avoid those super general terms. You want to make sure you're finding keywords that are truly built into the subject and the issue that you have selected. So as I keep going, I see gender discrimination again. I'm going to add that one. I'm going to look at maybe fair expressions. That's interesting. Linguistic habits might be an interesting thing to add as well. So once I've continued to search, right, and I'm not going to stop there. I might go back. And I might change this search to something like maybe even language of the discipline and see what comes up for me, okay? You might even use the word keyword in your search, gender inequality keywords. And you're going to look around and see what you can find, okay? So again, here I have this article. It's an EDU site, so I know that I can trust it. It's going to be pretty reliable. Um, and then as I go through, look, the beginning of the article right here has keywords I could add to my first box. Right? So I'll head back to my matrix, and as you see here, I've already started adding these words in. And then I might continue to add more words if I feel like necessary. Now, I didn't define my words here, but you're welcome to define them if you think that will help you better understand what you're looking at. The second one you're going to go to is language of the discipline. Or no, big idea, sorry. Big idea is here, okay? So under big idea, you're looking for the general breakdown of the issue. What is your issue about? 
and what is the conflict or issue at hand. So again, this might be information you kind of already know. So start there. That's where I began. I just started typing what I understood about the subject. Then I went on to Google. I did some more search and I started kind of understanding the big idea. So again, if I'm searching and I'm in Google, I might say something like, what is gender inequality? Right? Maybe instead I search something like, how do we know gender inequality exists? You might even say something like, basic understanding gender inequality. And that's going to help me get to articles that are give, going to give me exactly the sort of information I need to be able to complete both my big idea box and my language of the discipline. So again, today, you're only expected to complete language of the discipline and your big idea box, okay? So spend some time today going in, adding those pieces. You will also want to make sure that you jump on the parlay discussion that's been shared in the slides as well. Um, check in on that discussion throughout the week. I recommend setting a reminder because I always forget if I don't. Um, and then, you know, the goal is to make sure the first row of this is done by the time I return on Monday. So today is language of the discipline and big idea. Use the packet to help you think about where you're head and then use Google to help you find what you need. Um, and then uh, tomorrow you will move on to the next two. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can try to email me. But frankly, guys, I'm going to be on a beach. Clearly, I'm in my hat. But I love you. I miss you. And I hope you do great. Please be good for the sub. Be alpha. Be IB. You guys are awesome. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you soon.